crying and he's given absolute authority. Adam is literally in a heavenly place. Adam does not have to pray. Why would Adam have to pray? Because he had everything that he needed. The only thing Adam had to do was praise. The only thing Adam had to do was worship. The Bible said that every day Adam would meet the presence of God in the cool of the garden. He would have a praise encounter daily. And the Bible says now that God speaks to Adam. And he says unto Adam, Adam, you've got authority over all of this. But this one tree I do not want you to touch. Adam, you've got authority and access to everything that you want. But this one thing I do not want you to touch. And the Bible says now the serpent enters the garden. Uh, the serpent, he is a subtle creature pastor. The Bible says now that the serpent comes in and he begins to speak unto Eve and begins to mess with her mind. He comes and talks to Eve. Oh, and I know the men put the blame on the women, but Adam was standing right there while the sake the serpent was talking to Eve. The Bible says that he tells her, Oh, if you eat of this fruit, you shall not surely die. But God knows you're going to be like God. Oh, and see, here's the thing about the devil. He will always mix enough truth to make the lie believable. He will always know how to whisper the right thing in your ear. He will always know how to package it right. Oh, he knows you ain't going to pay attention to no little scrawny man. So he's going to send a six foot two tall buff man that can get in your ear. Oh, he knows men you ain't going to look at no nothing. So he's going to send a woman looking just like you wanted to look. Talking just like you wanted to talk. He's going to send the right folk around you. Oh, because there's one in ten. It's to distract you from what God told you. There's one assignment. It's to distract you from what God told you. And he will always make the distraction appealing to the eye. Oh, you don't look at no kind of junk. You look at what looks good to you. Now look at this Adam and Eve have authority over all of the garden. But one tree they cannot touch. And this is the tree that the enemy creeps in and makes it look, look good to him. And the Bible says now that Eve takes the fruit and she bites up the fruit and she hands it to Adam. And rather than Adam bring an order to the situation, Adam partakes in the same thing, knowing what God had told them. And that's like some of you. God has set folk around you for you to be an example to. He set you in people's life for you to be the stronger one. But rather than making a stand, you want to fit in with the crowd. Rather than setting yourself flat footed and making a stand, you say, if they do it, I'm going to do it. And the Bible says now that the minute Adam eats of the fruit. The minute Eve looks at the fruit, their eyes are open. And now what used to be pure to them, now what used to look good to them, now it's impure. Now they're calling themselves naked. And that's what happened with some of us. When you first got saved, you were unrestricted in your praise. When you first got delivered, you didn't care who looked at you. But you allowed yourself to be contaminated by the years that went by. And now what used to be unpure, what used to be clean, what used to be holy. Now you're ashamed to clap your hands. Now you're ashamed to run. When you first got saved, you were at the altar every Sunday, clapping in your hands. You could get a shot of the word out. All you could say was you, 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 you. all you could say was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But somewhere along the way, you allowed yourself to be distracted. And consequently, the distraction has taken your power. Consequently, the one thing that empowered you has now become your weakness. 
that the Bible says that God says to the serpent. If somebody tells me to preach, I'll preach tonight. The Bible says to the serpent. He said you're going to be cursed the rest of your life. Said you're gonna crawl on your belly all the days of your life. He says to the serpent, You're gonna eat the dirt of the ground all the days of your life. He says to Eve, In your time of bearing, you're going to have sorrow. Women of God, the reason you get a monthly visitor is because Eve could not obey the word of God. He says to Adam, Now you're gonna work by the sweat of your brow all the days of your life I come to tell you today that it's not until you divorce your flesh that you will regain the power that God gave to you from the beginning all the Bible says that God created man he created him of the dirt of the ground and what did he say to the serpent pastor you're going to eat the dirt all the days of your life I come to tell you as long as you are in the flesh the serpent the devil has an authorized right to consume you. As long as you live like dirt, the devil has an authorized right to eat you up. And don't tell me you ain't feeding the devil because in Genesis he was a snake. But in Revelation he's a dragon. Somebody been feeding that joke. But God told me to tell the household of faith. You got to kill this thing. Called your flesh. You got to die daily to this thing called your flesh he said to remind you I don't care how good you look but in your flesh there is no cream there he said to remind you I don't care how high up you get how many tongues you can speak in how well you can sing or shout don't you ever think that you ain't got to die don't you ever think that you ain't got to consecrate the Lord told me to tell you that as long as you're in your flesh, you're still under the curse that was set over Adam, but that was set over Eve. But as long as you stay in your flesh, you have to work by the sweat of your back. But I came to tell you, that's why I preach, that Jesus came with a better company. Jesus came as the second Adam Jesus came to fix what the first Adam jacked up first Adam put us in evil but the second Adam delivered us from evil but as long as you still act in carnal as long as you still in your flesh you cannot take advantage of the promises of God as long as you get in your junk, you cannot take advantage of the promises of God. That's why the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Turn to your neighbor, get in God, get in him.